Herzlich willkommen zurück zu Vampyr. Wir begeben uns an die Docks. Denn dort wartet ein ehemaliger Patient von uns darauf, von uns getötet zu werden, nachdem er sich in einen Vampir verwandelt hat und hier ein Blutbad angerichtet hat. Um zu zeigen, dass wir uns um die Sachen schon kümmern und wir kein Hort der Vampire sind. Oder zumindest das Krankenhaus nicht, was ja irgendwie nicht so ganz richtig ist. Aber hey, es ist ja egal. It seems the pre were now redoubling their patrols in the oh, district. I must be more careful. Verdoppelt, das ist natürlich schon eine harte Sache. Aber hier, hier können wir jetzt gerade... Hat er uns doch gesehen? Nö. Da? Weiß ich nicht. Wir müssen hier hier runter. Da ist hier. Punkte wiederholen, sehr gut. Ist das hier wirklich auch keine EP dafür gibt? Es gibt keine EP für Zöten. Schade eigentlich. Also so kann man halt nicht sich hochgrinden. Geht nicht. Nur seine Waffen. Andere Ausrüstungsgegenstände. Hier schwebt eine Kiste. Hm. Mysteriös. Kommen wir auch hier lang. Konnte man, glaube ich, hier auf die andere Seite springen. Genau. Ha. Sehr schick. Wir müssen jetzt ja nicht jeden Kampf mitnehmen. Glaube ich. Oder kommen wir jetzt hier gar nicht mehr hoch? Doch, da ist die Treppe. Moment, wir haben jetzt 845. Also kriegen wir doch Erfahrungspunkte. Nur ein bisschen später. Hm. Bereich. Limehouse Dog. Stabil. Gut, hier haben wir auch noch nicht so viele Leute getroffen. Das wird sich jetzt wahrscheinlich ändern. Und hier blinkt und glitzert wieder alles. Das ist ja schön. Brief. Hallo Frank. Wie geht es dir, mein alter Freund? Es war schön, dich letzte Woche zu sehen. Lass mich beim nächsten Mal auch ein paar Runden ausgeben. Ich hoffe, auf eurer Seite der Stadt ist alles in Ordnung. Hier in eurer alten Nachbarschaft wird die Lage immer schlimmer. Clay wird jeden Tag gewalttätiger und denkt nur an Expansion, obwohl es ein paar neue Typen gibt, die uns die Kontrolle über das Gebiet streitig machen wollen. Ich fürchte, die Wet Boot Boys stecken in der Klemme. Ich habe daran gedacht, wie du bei unserem letzten Treffen meintest, du hättest nie bereut, die Gang verlassen, zu verlassen. Du würdest nur bereuen, dass du nicht mehr in East, ins East End kommen kannst, um Prügel und Schlimmerem zu entgehen. Glaub mir, ich würde auf dich aufpassen, wenn du vorbeikämest. Vielleicht könnten wir uns noch einmal über die Arbeitssuche unterhalten. Du weißt, dass ich immer schon gut rechnen konnte, also wenn du vielleicht einen Buchhalter für deinen Betrieb brauchst, lass uns darüber reden, in Ordnung? Grüße deine Frau von mir, WBB für immer, alter Kumpel. Booth Digby Ah, neues Detail über Booth Digby hat bereits versucht, eine Arbeit zu finden, um die Wet Boot Boys verlassen zu können. Ja gut, aber wir kennen ihn jetzt hier auch noch nicht. Wir kennen hier noch viele Leute nicht in den Docks. Bei den Docks. Um den Docks. Aber gut, war ja nochmal ganz schön, jetzt hier nochmal ein bisschen was äh, aus also hier zu bekommen. Wir können uns nicht beklagen. Hier, da kommen wir nicht rein. Und wer ist das? Ach, das ist der Typ. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Gut, dann fragen wir ihn natürlich erstmal ein bisschen aus. Vielleicht erfahren wir ja noch mal ein bisschen mehr über ihn, aber er hat natürlich auch Stufe 4. Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? So you're a concerned criminal, 
Is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. I could kill you for saying that. But, nah. You've been a soldier. I can respect that. No man does. So, tell me about your gang, then. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Well, yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi! I'm the boss, all right? The wet boot boys work for me. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. Okay. Biggie. Is clear. What can you tell me about this part of town? Things ain't that bad, thanks to us. We give people what they need, and we control this borough. Well, you're not doing a very good job. People are still dying here, like everywhere else. Yeah, well, we can't be everywhere all the time. And if Weena says if we can find more guns, we could be more efficient. More efficient? Really? You should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. Incredible. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. She's more smart than patient. My sweet queen of the docks. Ah, neues Detail. Er ist in Edwina Cox verliebt, der wahren Anführerin der Gang. Okay, aber das ist dann sie hier. Mit Wiener Gox. Mag zwar in Bustig wie verliebt sein, aber sie ist die wahre Anführerin der Gang. Okay. So, was haben wir noch hier? Persönliche Fragen. I know you're looking for an honest job, Booth. You're tired of this criminal life, aren't you? It's just an idea. Edwina loves to run things so much. You can never really leave the gang. Wet boys for life, you know. Hey, ja, die Wet Boys. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Okay. Dann fragen wir Tom Watts. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Wir fragen hier eh alle einmal. Wir werden ihn schon finden. Da bin ich mir sicher. The sewer dogs fault, they say. Then the gangs, the epidemics, everyone's throwing the blame. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by clay. I'm not here to collect payment, miss. Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Ah, das ist dann also die Frau Cox. Was hat die so? The fünf. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things. And I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us then, if you don't want to get hurt or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. Aber wir sind Vampire. Oh, das haben wir über ihn schon fast alles rausgefunden. Brachten kürzlich einen Mann aus Rache um. Über Edwina Cox. Ja, das gleiche. Aber sie haben schon ziemlich faustig hinter den Ohren hier. Die machen keine halben Sachen. What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. 
You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the grave diggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. Tja, vielleicht neue Untersuchung. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. So, can I see you not mine? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Nee, das sind nur grüne Griffe. Das brauchen wir nicht, wir haben hier kein Geld. Habe ich ja alles verprasst. Aber immerhin wieder Erfahrungspunkte. Wir müssen eh weitere Informationen hier sammeln. Und. Ah, nee, ich will ein bisschen. Ja, Moment, wir wollen ja erstmal ihn hier noch fragen. Über die neuen Erkenntnisse, die wir gewonnen haben. Ja. Das waren persönliche Fragen. Tell me about the man you killed, Booth. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. No, really. One of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always been done round here. No one gives a shit. Jemand wird sie töten. Oh ja, das machen wir mal. Don't you see? It's an endless spiral. One day, it will be you who will be stabbed, or shot, or worse. That's what my sweet Edwina always says, that one day I'll get it too. But she says it with the most beautiful smile, my Edwina. Yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Okay. Na, irgendwer wird ja noch dran glauben müssen, aber da würde ich auf jeden Fall warten, bis wir Stufe 3 haben. Wenn ich überhaupt welche sind für Stufe 3. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. Okay. Was denn hier Schönes? Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton. Vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. <lacht> oh, also das ist schon mal ein sehr großer Kandidat, finde ich. Sieht jetzt nicht sehr furchteinflößend aus, aber aus Prinzip, einfach aus Prinzip. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Oh boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. Okay, it's a name auch, ne? Ichabod Throckmorton. <lacht> Herrlich. Er glaubt, dass Jack Gillingham von Vampiren getötet wurde. Das glauben wir auch. So. How exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my cool. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. 
They are afraid of garlic and holy symbols. And they also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. What, what kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. Oh yeah, I love that very much. Have you heard of the Guard of Prewan? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> Were you ever tempted to join the Guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. Oh yeah, that's a boy. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint. He should be at his night asylum at this hour, but I cannot tell you how to find it. Sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there, they have plenty of reasons to hide. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested by a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Sean Hampton. Ach ja, das ist ja auch der Obermacker hier. Gut, da kennt man auch eine Mesmerisierung 6. Wurde als Kind von einem Priester belästigt. Interessant. Könnten wir mal drauf ansprechen. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. Okay. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Ah, den müssten wir eigentlich schon wirklich fast dann umbringen. Aber gut, das können wir aktuell noch gar nicht. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. Oh, den könnte man sogar. Aber er hat nur Stufe 1. Ist erschöpft. Könnten wir heilen. Müssen noch viel über ihn rauskriegen. Ich glaube aber, dass wir sollten eigentlich auch immer nur noch Leute nehmen, die die gleiche Stufe haben wie wir. Also ich würde eigentlich aktuell sogar lieber auf Stufe 3 warten und dann jemanden mitnehmen. What do you do for a living, Mr. Delaney? I drink. I drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night and then I drink some more. Why do you drink so much? Maybe it's because I prefer dying slowly. Death can be so abrupt. Personally, I like to see mine coming at my own pace. You sound very sad, sir. That's because I am. Doc. Da war ich jetzt einmal ein bisschen. Ich bin mir meine Tastatur gekommen. So, mach wieder Lärm. Ach ja. Don't you work at all? I'd love to, but I don't have the time. Didn't I tell you? Drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. Ja, saufen, saufen, saufen. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly. So joyful. No reason at all to rejoice, then. Life is hopeless and then we die, is that it? Let me tell you a story. All right. Go on. A few years ago, when I believed a resolute man could change things around here for good, a tragedy occurred nearby. What kind of tragedy? It was a bomb. A bomb that exploded and killed many people. Metal and blood everywhere. Shouts. Fire. Broken window of the shoe shop. The torn street light. You lost people you loved that day, didn't you? I've lost everything. But you know what the worst part is? 
I don't even remember where it happened. I've drunk so much to forget it. And now I can't remember where it was. I can't pay my homage to the dead. I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney. It's okay. If you ever find the place, just leave a flower for me there. Even if you tell me where it is, I'm not sure I'd memorize it. Neue Untersuchung, Gedenken an die Opfer. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap... How dare Schon. you? Uh, das hier. Why are you so cynical? Cynicism is the polite way to express despair, Doctor. Okay. Uh, persönliche Fragen. Genau. Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young, like everybody else. Sure. I wanted things to change. To really change. And to change for good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Sounds like you were an idealist, which is honorable. No, sir. I was an anarchist and I believe that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. I wanted a new world to rise from the ashes, Dr. Reed. Neuer Hinweis. Ah, es sind immer noch recht wenig Punkte. Ich glaube, maximal 1000. Do you really da. think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it better. But most of us are too weak, too corrupt and too guilty. I failed for sure, but others will come. I want to know more about your past as an anarchist, Dyson. I'm still an anarchist, Doctor. Make no mistake. I just reject violence as a tool to change the world, unlike my comrades. Do you still see your comrades, then? Even if you don't agree with their methods anymore, I mean? No. I hope they'll come to share my point of view one day. I'll raise my glass to that splendid idea. Do you believe in a bloodless revolution, then? I do not believe in much anymore, Doctor. But I'll admit, I like your idea of peaceful change. I like it a lot. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. I heard he'd been abducted. I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me, then? About the sad saint. I'll try asking Tom what's about him. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Okay. Dann würde ich sagen, machen wir hier mit dem Durchsuchen der Docks beim nächsten Mal weiter. Sprechen mit dem Barkeeper und mal gucken, da was an dieser Entführung dran ist. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal.